Hey, so I've got to get the struts on this uh, Camry. This should be a pretty quick and I'll just show a front one and the back one and list out the tools and the torque specs and here we go. Okay, for the front, we've got to get this a uh, ABS, I guess the ABS line. Looks like it's a clip. We'll take that off. We've got a 12. That holds the line on. We've got this weird Funkadelic Allen, and I think that's a, I don't know what that is yet. These are 22s. <sighs> and then up on top, these are, what, 14s probably? We'll find out when we get there. All right, let's get this one out. I loaded these things up with uh, WD-40 for the last four days, morning and night. Hoping that makes it a lot easier to come apart since Shame on me, I've never replaced these struts. That's loose. Put the clip. And, okay, I think that's all there is to that. Okay, that's a 17 millimeter. I can't imagine this is gonna be easy. Okay. great so far. Hey, I don't believe it. I did a little reading about this and oh, I guess I to cut these sway bar, sway bar arm legs off. So feeling pretty good about it right now. Let's see if that helped. I swear I can't make a video on the weekends without leaders and leaf blowers. Lawn mowers are going in my neighborhood. It's raining and it's supposed to rain until June. So I have no mode this morning. Difficult. 
tough. Got it. Man, what a pain. Bushing doesn't look too bad. Let's, uh, let's put that net back on there for uh, so we don't lose it. Okay. So we got the big dogs. Two. Jeez. Just about strain my milk on it. I'm assuming I'm gonna to wanna to put my jack into this. I need a punch, but this is real in a punch. Bloop! That's one. really strange you got the top one that got really corroded and the bottom one looks brand new it's weird we'll have to do that a little little business before it goes back in okay these are 14s really
goes. Ready to install. Rear, we want the front. Okay, I got these on Amazon. Over 300 bucks, loaded and ready to go. the left side. There's the right side. Looks the same to me. Alright, let's see if I can get this thing in there and get a nut started. Snug those, but I don't think I'm going to tighten them up yet. Until I get everything kind of in place down below. That's the wrong size. So the new nuts that came on it are 15s. That's weird. socket ever. So that's kind of bizarre. Alright, I'm going to get this guy lined up. Rotate towards me. so difficult.
Okay, spec on the top bolts is 29. This is 113. Perfect. I don't know how you're supposed to torque the uh, sway bar considering you have to have an arm on it. So I'm just going to tighten it up. I forgot to hook this up. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, on the, on the rear, you just lift up and the seat pops. You just come straight up, pull the seat out. Throw it up on the roof, upside down. Now there's a, it's hard to see, there's a 12 millimeter bolt right up in here. So we're gonna take that bolt out, and it's in relation. It's this side cushion thing. So we gotta take that bolt out, and then this cushion will lift off. There's that bolt. Now we just lift on this thing, and it should go up. There's the top bolt for the strut. All right, on the rear, 14 with the Allen, 12. 10, 10, now these are 19 instead of 21, 1, 2, and then 12 up here on top. I stuck on this thing since it's the worst. This sway bar link is so hard to get off, ridiculous. My hammer. Well, it was a lot easier than the front, that's for sure. Our link detached. Come on, I gotta come up. Let's jack this up a little bit or down. Why is that so tight? Detached. 
12. Well, you were loose a second ago. extension to uh, knock the bolt out. Got it. That's the inside 12 millimeter. My long socket, deep socket was too deep. My shorty's too short. it into the socket and not push it all the way down. I'll use an end, end wrench to tighten these, I think. But I think the hardware that comes with it is 14 millimeter. pressure wash these fender wells. They're so dirty still. <sighs> it's so much easier with two people. <laughs>
stand corrected. They're 13 millimeter. That makes perfect sense. in jacket right up into place both bolts in Twelve goes in. the new tires Solaris AS Starfire these are the uh, 215 60 16 that's the factory size 71 bucks on Amazon Part two is done, struts are in. The top bolts in the back took forever. They had some kind of something on the nuts that made them take forever. All right, check this out. This is the total interior cleaner protectant from Chemical Guys. And just your regular SOS pad. look like and I did this one already look at that amazing here's the <laughs> here's the dirty side of the console and then clean side dirty seat clean seat amazing It's all detailed, struts, serpentine belt, new tires, and it's listed, so we'll, uh, 
we'll hopefully get some action on it. Um, I'm not in a big hurry, so um, that's nice. I'm gonna miss this car. It's been pretty fantastic. I would say this this is the best car we've ever had, as far as reliability and comfort and mileage and everything else. It's been really great. So if you're thinking about getting a Camry, get the V6. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, moves out great. Still gets 30 on the highway. Uh, 25 mixed driving, pretty great. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, I'll do an update if we sell it here real quick and I'll probably just do a short or something that it went away. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.